thank you for joining me. This is video number seven in our video series on uh, doing renderings. And in this video, uh, we're going to uh, put in some uh, sus suspended uh, ceiling lights. And then we're going to finally take a rendering of the inside of our uh, building and inside of our dream house here. So what I did with the last uh, building or last <clears throat> last video is I put in a small suspended ceiling. It's not really quite correct. It's not really what we want. We're going to put a different kind of ceiling in uh, this room here later in order to suspend some lights from it. But for this, it's kind of like a small suspended ceiling area right over the dining room table, which may not be unattractive. We put in a, um, a two foot by four foot inch uh, uh, grid uh, suspended ceiling. We moved our grid uh, lines over a little bit in order to accommodate a couple ceiling lights in order to accommodate some uh, suspended lights that are going to go in, in place of the acoustic uh, ceiling tiles that are there. So I think there's enough said about that. Let's go ahead and do that. So if we go to our home tab, we want to insert a component. And uh, let's go ahead and load a family. We're going to load some lighting fixtures. So go down to the lighting fixture button. And what we're looking for is a trougher light. Trougher light is a certain uh, uh, light with a, um, a certain grid to it that allows a um, fluorescent lighting fixture behind that to uh, shine in a certain pattern over the area that you're trying to light below that. So trougher light, we have a 2x2 two two parabolic. We have a 2x4, two 2x4 four, two foot four foot parabolic. And then we have a, just a regular lens light. So let's go ahead and do the trougher light, a 2x4 uh, parabolic light, and go to open. And um, it's taking a while. And what we're going to see is that the light's going to be uh, where our cursor is going to be as long as we have a ceiling there. Where we don't have a ceiling, it's not going to let us insert that. And where we do have it, we can insert it here. So if we do the shift key, should be able to rotate that. But, you know, if it's not working for you, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just uh, drop it in there. And we're going to go ahead and align this. So uh, this is a, we don't use a, the rotate tool very often. But let's go ahead and use that. We're going to highlight the item. We're going to rotate. It's going to automatically, you're going to see a line. It's automatically going to go to the middle of the object. We're going to rotate. And uh, without clicking on object snaps or nearby, we're just going to rotate at 90 degrees. Let's go to our alignment tool by going to our modify bar, our modify tab. And uh, let's go ahead and use this as our static element. That is the element we want to move to and snap that together and let's do this it looks like it's pretty darn close here but just uh... i'm going to escape a couple times just to make sure i do get this right and you want to do this when you're doing a, your commercial project and you're actually putting a lot of these lights in you want to make sure you get to get them in there fairly well aligned if you want to lock them into place you're welcome to do that too but once you get one aligned it's easy to copy that over and get the next ones in place so we use this as our static element that is our uh, element that we're going to uh... Move it into place, so we're going to move the trougher light to the grid rather than the other way around. Now we're going to copy it. Go to the copy button, choose a common endpoint that could be common to both of those, which is going to be the very corner of that grid here, and move it down to the corner of that grid. And now our old trougher lights are in place. Looks good. Let's go back to our camera view. So go to our project browser, let's go to the second floor living room, looking southwest camera, and now we have a suspended ceiling in place. And we'll just scoot in by using our middle mouse button while we're doing that. And take a look at that, and that looks uh, pretty good to me. So in the next film, this is kind of a short film, but we're all ready to do this. Uh, let's, in the next film, go ahead and render this.